Benny Caravella. Dan Reichert. Look how ready Mario is. He's stretching that. Sh- I've been having some shoulder problems. Look at him. Uh, is that a shoulder stretch or is that a tricep? I think, uh, you know, that's all like the kind of upper arm. Yeah. You know, stretch out everything up all there because, right. you know, it's Mario time. It is. And wait, he's about to he's about to have an idea. He's going to think about something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know you were making YouTube poop with <laughs> With Mario Odyssey. That's what I'm doing, and that's oh. the thing. I know what it is. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hit look at that here. hair. Look at Mario's hair. Never yeah. have we seen his hair, uh, each strand of the Mario's hair. We're going to take this uh, quick look frame by frame. Yeah, we and, are. Uh, hey, there's a lot to appreciate in this game here. Uh, look at the texture on Cap. Well, he's gone. Okay, well, <laughs> See I'm not sure I like the mustache. It looks a it's little... It's a different color. Is it? So is he dyeing his mustache or dyeing oh, his hair, or is that like, natural? Was it used to be like this color of his hair? I... I'm trying to think of a time where it was very clearly seen. I mean, you mm. can knock his hat off in 64. Oh, yeah, you can't really tell. All right. I'm going to hit resume here. Yeah. So Wait, resume two-player? Well, yes. Okay. We can try that if you want to, but it's a horse shit. Like, remember the two-player in Galaxy where you point at the screen and do stuff? Okay. It, this is dumber than that. All right. I'm going to hit resume. Some quick context. Uh, so I have uh, made a new file yes. uh, here. So this is going to be early on in the game. Okay. What I want. So there's not going to be any serious spoilers here. Like, all the stuff that you're seeing here, I got to in, like, 20 minutes or something. Um, the very beginning of the game. Yeah, this is the second area. Oh, okay. no, sorry, the third area. So you're talking, okay, the format of this quick look is going to be you're going to show some early stuff and yes. then later on we'll probably dive into I, I don't want to do a deep dive because there's some really fun spoilery type stuff that you unlock later and I... It was very fun for me to see some of that stuff, and I don't want to ruin that for anyone, even if we give the spoiler warning. But but fair warning, this stuff is early on, yes. very early, and later on might be some later games. I stuff. will hop ahead because I want to show New Dunk City. Okay. Everyone's seen that, so I'm just going to show New and Dunk we'll City. Call it out. Maybe a couple of costumes. Yeah, you'll know. Okay. So, right, so okay, this is early on. Here you are playing on the Nintendo Switch. I am. It's a new console. Came out in March. Uh, um, uh, in this on the sixty dollars game. Yes, it is a sixty dollars video game, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, so what I just did here is I captured these binoculars, mm-hmm. which these are in every world, and you can kind of look around and you can zoom in. And for anyone living under a rock, uh, you know, for the last. I don't know, when was E3? Uh, Six June. Six months? Seven months? It's been that long? Something like Mario that. throws Cappy, his yes. hat, and takes over the souls of an object. That's correct. Uh, and so my op- my uh, my objective here is to get a bunch of moons to power my spaceship known as the Odyssey. Why? Uh, because Why does Mario, Bowser... What does Mario need with a spaceship? Well, you see, Bowser has kidnapped Peach and yeah. is trying to marry her. Uh-huh. So he is going from kingdom to kingdom getting wedding prep stuff. So in this pyramid... Yeah. So you notice when I entered this area, it zoomed in on this and it says Secret of the Inverted Kingdom. Very or, or Inverted Pyramid. Yeah, so this is an actual story quest here. Each okay. area has some like story quests... But you can also just go around this huge map. Oh, yep, this is how early on I am. Uh, and you can find tons and tons of moons. Right now, it's showing as sixty-nine moons in this area. This is this is very, uh, having now played a decent amount of Sunshine, uh, seems seems to have that format of the map of a much better map. It all but. works much better. I playing through this game, I thought it was much more like sixty-four than any of the others. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's Mario on his feet, even though you can capture stuff and everything. It's traditional Mario running around. Uh, there's no flood. There's not the, like, you know, it's not a focus on, like, gravity uh, warping, like, planetoids and stuff, like in Galaxy. Yeah, but I would say, like... Sorry, you're going to... Oh, I was just going to say real quick. So, story-wise, this is what's going on. So, Bowser took Peach in here, and they were yeah. trying to get this, this binding band from this pyramid. <laughs> oh, so, he's boy. going from place to place trying to get Not different. a ring, it's a binding band? Uh, It's weird. You see it later. It's also, like, the size of Peach. So, it's weird. Uh, it, What's Peach... What has Peach taken this? She's kidnapped. So, okay. it's not great. And it, uh, married against her will? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's not willingly uh, uh, marrying I mean, Bowser, the dragon man. Is she Is she a romantic interest of Mario? I mean, she's kissed him in the past, uh, and, and <laughs> well, heart-shaped like, fireworks uh, went off. So, yeah, there has been uh, s- sparks. <laughs> that's your that's your uh, baseline for, hey, uh, kissing and fireworks. fireworks didn't go off. Yeah. Uh, I know what love is, kissing <laughs> and fireworks. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> uh, so, against your will, <laughs> that's odd. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's Bowser and Peach. That's how it goes. Yeah. Uh, so, this is a cool thing that pops it, up frequently. It, has it been what he's always been after? Kinda. He's got a thing for Peach. Okay. And he's gone to great lengths to uh, to show the world and to show Peach his love. All Ugh, right, so we got a little bit of gravity stuff here. Oh, what a liar. 
But I, did, I said no planetoids. Uh, or I said less reliance on planetoids. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I think Galaxy games are great. These Galaxy games are fantastic. Yes. Uh, this stuff's this, cool. This 2D stuff is really cool too, and I really like how whatever song is playing in the game, uh, it, it just seamlessly morphs into this 8-bit version whenever you go into the 2D plane. It's like Near Automata. It's ex you know this game is exactly, exactly. like Near Automata. Uh, some people say it takes its cues from Sunshine. I'm gonna go with Near. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Most most people say that. Mario, you're, not, you're not alone. Mario is a robot. Yep. Yep. We all know that. Of course. No human can walk on the ceilings. <laughs> Uh, so this uh, this plays like Mario One in these parts, as you can tell by the art style. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels good as, yeah, as Mario One uh, did, uh, but it's it's we're doing it with the analog stick. So there's little uh, hidden stuff everywhere. Oh. So like here, a bunch of coins, and we got a secret moon here. Secret, oh, that's not a banana. No, that's a moon. So you see in the top left, uh, that's uh, how many moons I need to get to the next kingdom. It's like m moons equal. Spaceship fuel. Exactly, yeah. So I'm trying to get in the spaceship so I can chase Bowser down and stop this wedding. It's like The Graduate. Uh, okay. I've never seen it, but I saw the Simpsons parody that one scene, so uh, okay. I think I understand The Graduate. <laughs> right. And I think an old lady tries to seduce, like, a kid, Dustin Hoffman or something. Yeah, there's... there's some... Yeah, I don't know. Is it a good movie? I heard it's good. Uh, I, I think I was supposed I to watch it in film class. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Oh, uh, okay. As you can see here, I am uh, taking over these bullet bills. I love the little touch of 2D bullet bill... Yes. Emerging out the side there. It's very cool looking. It's really great. Uh, so yeah, each uh, each capture thing you can do has its own little control scheme. And if you look here, um, these are the things I've captured uh, so far. So is ever, this uh, from your playthrough? Or is just this is this new one. Okay. So yeah, there, that's there are 52 neat. I like things. it. Yeah, and it'll tell oh, you. Look at all those amiibo. <laughs> Yo, I'd get every one of them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can see the control scheme here. Uh, for everything. Uh, there was a little bit of motion stuff, which I'm not big on. Can but, you turn it off if you want? Uh, so you can turn off the, like, aiming thing, like the gyro gyro thing. You can turn uh -huh. that off. But as far as, like, like if I do a little shake, it'll home in. Like, the, the hat will get a slight home to it. And as far as I've seen, that is only oh. uh, with motion. Although it's it's not a super necessary thing. So what Sorry, happened? detouring because I want to get a secret shine. So when you're, moon. when you're playing it portable, you have to shake the screen? Yeah, it's not great. So uh, that bummed me out. Yeah, so I played a little bit on my commutes and stuff. Cool. Look at look all those that. coins. Hell yeah. Uh, it's a bummer having to do the motion stuff, but it's really not very necessary. When I played it at E3, there was also like a spin move. Oh, okay. So so I'm doing it with the pro controller here. So if you go to the side, it's not yeah. even working here. That's supposed to happen if you go to the side. The yeah, circular thing. Jeff kind of having a... Yeah. Problem. Do you just not use it? I barely use it. There are a couple times that you'll like stomp the ground and, and enemies will surround you. Uh, and, and they I'll want you it, to use it. Yeah, you can tell they want you to use it, but like I just typically didn't. <laughs> it's just not great. Um, but again, it, it's it didn't really impact my enjoyment because it's it's rarely used stuff. Can I cut to the chase here? Let's cut to it. Do you like this game? It's a great game. Uh, if you are watching this at home, my review is up on GiantBomb.com. Uh, I love this game. Okay. I I got every single moon in this game. Uh, there are a lot. <laughs> there are almost a thousand moons. Oh my goodness. Um, do you get anything cool for getting them all? Uh, How do you know you got them all? Does it have a counter? There is. Okay, so you can go in here to this uh, list, and you can go kingdom to kingdom. I see. And you can see in the top right how many you got. And so I got all of them and all the kingdoms and every purple coin. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot. So you've 100% of this game? I 100% of this game. Do you get anything neato for doing that? You, okay, so the final thing... I, well, don't spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it, anything. Okay. I'll say... For getting all the moons, there, there is, uh, I mean, it, something happens. Yeah. I would say the coolest stuff happens along the way, like post credits. So, like any Mario game, you can beat the game, you can see credits or beat the last boss or whatever. And jump back in. And then more stuff is there to do. Mm -hmm. I will say some of the coolest stuff that I saw was after I saw the credits roll the first time. And, like, I, I saw credits in like maybe 12, 13, 14 hours. Uh, but then I played dozens more hours right. after that. And I think some of the best challenges and content uh, is past the main quest. So these are the wedding planners. I remember these from E3, right? I, these I, are the actually, brutals, yeah. I remember this fight. I think this was part of the E3 demo. Yeah, yeah. I'll beat her real quick, and then we'll get into kind of the like open world roaming around. Uh, so Bowser's kingdom. hired these folks as wedding planners? Yeah, they're the brutals. The brutal bridal uh, planning, whatever. Do you know where they're from? No, they just show up in a ship, <laughs> and they're a bunch of rabbits. Okay. Yeah. So you know. It's like from the like Yoshagi Yojimbo. Is, is that his what? name? The the rabbit, ninja rabbit? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. I thought you were a film major. He's going <laughs> I didn't go to class. <laughs> but Yojimbo, wasn't that about a samurai? Yes, he's a samurai. Is he a rabbit too? Yeah. 
Are you serious? I thought it was an old black and white movie about... Oh no, uh, Seven Samurai is the famous samurai movie. Is that the one I'm thinking of? I also haven't seen that. I think some cool game was, was based on Ni Seven he Samurai. He, would know. he was in Ninja Turtles, I believe. Who? Oh, oh, okay, now we're talking. Casey Jones? Uh, no. Usagi Yojimbo. Uh... I know Donatello. <laughs> yeah, I know Donna very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, how are the boss fights? They're good. Uh, so you fight these uh, rabbits several times, and they're fun. Uh, they're smaller ones. I almost see these as kind of like uh, oh, what's his name? Is it Boom Boom, the the mini boss from Three in the in the fortresses? Uh, you know, it's it's jump on their heads three times. Figure uh -huh. out the pattern, jump on their head three times. I wonder. What, it's not possible that these were originally rabbits. No, don't be insane. And then they were just like, no. These are clearly different than the rabbits. Uh, and then they were just like, well, let's just make them rabbits. I don't think that so. That deal, we're making a different game. Uh, yeah, I, I think these are a different entity. I do miss the Koopalings. Oh, are go. they not in it uh, at all? Well, I don't want to talk too much story. I yeah, I don't want to say anything too definitive. Uh, um, so what happens to her? She explodes. <laughs> She's, Wait, really? She's just confetti Wait, all over the sand. is she not in the game anymore? No, she shows back up. Okay. <laughs> so, for these bigger ones, these bigger story quests, Cappy. you get multi-moons. So you'll get three okay. moons for that. Always for a boss fight? Typically. Or a story, story quest? Typically for like a story boss fight type thing, yeah. Which, some of the bigger boss fights, the ones that aren't uh, the brutal uh, crew or whatever, are really, really cool. Like, That's there neat. are some awesome boss fights Like set game. piece battles? Yeah, yeah. Uh, also... After playing Sunshine for yes. a lot of time this year and playing this, uh, I can say definitively that this game is much better than Mario Sunshine. Uh -huh. I'll also say I think it's... I, I like to give it a little time before I say things definitively uh -huh. about stuff like this. I, I think there's a very solid argument that this is the best 3D Mario game. Wow. I, I think uh, it takes a lot of cues from 64. I, I would agree with your... Give it some time. Yeah, I'm gonna give it some time. I'm not saying that definitively, uh, but this is without a doubt among the best Mario games of all time. Though I will say, probably my my kind of love for Galaxy only went up as time went by, and they made not so great Mario games, like games that didn't appeal, like games that weren't direct sequels or in the main. So you weren't big with like 3D World and 3D Land. Uh, those are good. Those are really good games. But do you agree that they're kind of like side games, like spinoffs? I don't want to do, do that. I think they're definitely spinoff games. They're I was, great I was, games. I was talking more about like the um, uh, the one, like the four-player ones. That's 3D World. Oh, that is 3D World. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's Shit. the then? What's the portable one? 3D Land. 3D Land. Yeah, which is a great. Game. That's it is. Uh, so you see these purple, uh, these purple coins here. Then what's the new Super Mario Brothers? That's the 2D ones. Those are a throwback to the old uh, like NES Gosh, and I'm Mario World ones. So bad with their naming. I can help you with any of this stuff. I know it very well. Uh, so those purple coins I got there. You saw, I see in the top left, I've got the yellow coins and the one to the right there. Those are the purple coins. Do you see it? Uh, yes. Okay. So the purple ones are all region specific. Changed. Okay, right. So yeah, I'm getting these little, like, tortilla chips here that uh, I can cash in for specific uh, stuff in the Sand Kingdom. So, like, the outfit I'm wearing right now and then a cowboy outfit and stuff can be purchased with that. With oh. those purple coins. Yes, Different with the purple than blue coins. coins. Uh, there are no blue coins in this one. So yeah, purple coins. Are there Yoshi coins? Uh, there are no Yoshi coins. No, check this out. Here's a side one. Is oh, that, I already got that one. Damn. Does it run out of fuel? Uh, the bullet? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you can't just fly it forever? Right. Are there a lot of secrets that are like, ooh, fly this off the weird beaten path. Yeah, so actually, great to bring that up right now. I played video. Do you see what? I see that oh, bird. Hit wait. that bird. Oh, okay. It's got to mm, shine. Let me see. All right. How far? The hat doesn't have super. Not super far, room. but I'm going to try to get this. Oh, it's pretty high up. And it's pretty high up, that yeah. bird. Is there another flower somewhere? Ah, uh, shit. Um, can you wall jump on those pillars? Oh, I certainly can, yeah. Uh, they might be a little wide. Uh, yeah, but watch this. So I can do the new ground pound jump. So if I jump after ground pound... Oh, wow. Look at that! Yeah, wow, that is some platforming. Watch this. Oh, I'm gonna it. see if I can actually clear this whole thing with a, a crazy uh, platform. Wait, don't move. you want to get that bird? Uh, I think it's gone. Oh, forever? No, we'll find it. I thought I just heard it. Maybe okay. not here, but we'll okay. find it. I'm going to try something. I don't think I'll be able to clear this, but let me show you something you can do. Okay. See that? Oh, you jumped on your own hat. Yeah, so I long jumped, and then I threw my Wait, hat, and then I jumped on my hat. Standing on oil? It's quicksand. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> just the hat yep. poking out. That's a, that's, that's a cool secret, because that looks just glitchy as hell. Yeah. So the thing is, there are moons 
everywhere. And you found them game. all organically. You yeah. Know, you I mean, have, it was. I played it all pre-release. You weren't using the Prima Guide. There was no guide. There's no I'll reviewer's you, guide. Tell me guide. Stuff. You documented each one. There were some that I thought there was no way I would ever beat because they're really difficult from a platforming perspective, and then there were some that I just thought I would never find. Mm. But man, if I didn't spend every waking hour playing the hell out of this game. You, know, you do like a Mario game. Uh, yeah. And they do tend to make pretty good games. Yeah. For the most part. This one uh, is just really something special. Uh, so, a lot of your time can be spent just kind of aimlessly exploring these areas. And I say aimless in a good way, um, because there's just stuff everywhere. Like, all these worlds, like, they're usually pretty big and open. So that that's the thing with, like, 3D World, and, and to a lesser extent, the Galaxy games, is that those were more of a point A to point B thing. In 3D World, you're literally, literally going for a flagpole. In the Galaxy games, it's showing you the, like, story-based, hey, go to this B, and then climb on her back and get the five star bits or whatever, mm. or star shards. This one, I'm just walking around getting moons everywhere. Looks like I already got that one, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, and you'd have to go back there to get it? Yeah. Let's Let's see, how do I... How about right. that? Yeah, that guy. Can you blow up that? Oh, th these only the bullet bells only travel on a, uh, pl a straight single plane. plane yeah. Right? Okay. I'm trying to remember how it got that one. It's definitely got to be a bullet. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's a hole uh, in there. I know how. Yeah. Nice. Is that a is a feel like, like a complicated maneuver with the controller? Or uh, the first time you you think of it, it seems like a lot to take in, uh -huh. but it's actually you get used to it. So I learned a lot of abilities uh, through, like, there were a bunch of, like, Koopa races, where yeah. you're having, like, foot races with Koopa Troopas, and I saw one of them do that, and I was like, are you fucking they kidding me? They also had a hat? Uh, they threw their shell, I think. Oh, ew. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, also you can fast travel to any checkpoint flag you've gotten throughout any of these oh, maps. It's really easy to so, just fly around. Sorry, are they showing you where the moons are in these mini stages, or are they just like in this world there are moons? The count. Are they like, oh, on this, uh, in this area? So they're just showing you for the world, right? In it. In they're the, showing me uh, one kingdom at a time. So this one's got 69, that one's got when 17. When you say kingdom... It's a, a world, a level, uh, you know, Okay, so when you... This okay, is one, so the as you scroll place. down to the levels, they're not showing you how many are available in each level. Uh, of the kingdom. Well, yeah, like, these are all the ones in the Cascade Kingdom. Those are all the moons. Yeah. And you can go to, like, a parrot that will give you clues, like, oh, it'll tell you the name uh, of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I w wasn't understanding what this power moon list was. Okay, I think I get it This now. is all the moons in the Sorry, area. so yeah, there are yeah. 27, and they've named each yes, moon. Yes, each one. Okay. And then it'll it'll notate if there's a three Okay, or so that is like, like that. that's like the sunshine stars, where they're kind of, like, named for, like, mm -hmm. uh, lava fun. Yeah, yeah, okay. they, they've all got their own names and everything. So it doesn't feel like, like a collectathon type thing. It, it's not like you're just running around like Donkey Kong 64, just, like... Picking up floating things that are just totally devoid of context. What's that? Wait. Uh, looks like I think this is where we need to go yeah. next. Oh, wait, here's the thing. You can ground pound whenever you see this stuff. At some point, are you able to melt the ice? <laughs> oh, so they yeah. they go from being at the end of a stage to just being buried in the sand with some sparkles. Some are like some single moons. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, all right, so that's in there. Do you yeah. know what you need to do? Uh, I can't get to that one yet. I need to melt the ice, which I think I need to jump down here. Can you take over mostly everything or only... No. So it's... That's, that's a key thing about this game is that in the trailers, in the pre-release media that Nintendo's put out, like, that has been the hook, is showing the, the capturing thing. Yeah. And... It's not just that. Like, there are over 50 things that you can capture. Uh -huh. It is a huge part of the game, for sure. Like, here, this is ice, and if I don't want to slip around, I can uh, I can capture a Goomba. Are there... Uh, Goomba's definitely very big in the <laughs> northern climbs, as we Goombas? all know. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, they're all over the place. They, yeah, they, have, yeah. they have, like... You know Goombas have, like, 50 different words for snow. Oh, I know, I know. It's amazing. So uh, I'll take over this one here. And then I'm bypassing like obvious like stuff over here. So just where's so Mario go when he when he when he what? Hey, where's his physical body go? Have you seen the Matrix? Yes. You know, like when he jumps into Agent Smith. Yeah. I think it's like that. So you think well, because he looks like what happens to Yoshi when Yoshi falls in water. You like that? Effect. Oh, just like disappears. Like with those little orbs. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, hang on. It's like confetti. It that's cool looking. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's neat. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Nope. Uh -oh. I'm, too, I'm too damn You've tall. You've done it. Can too you just knock one off? Let's get taller. So wait. Hold on a second What's here. going on? Hold on. What's going this on, is, Benny? Wait. Are you controlling one Goomba? Are you controlling a stack? Does Mario control oh, everything shit. that's underneath him? Well, you know, art's in the eye of the beholder, so however you want to look at this. Hey, that's not art. That's just like that's art. physics. Or, or <laughs> are, those, are those Goomba being controlled by the top Goomba? 
Maybe the top one's in charge. Yeah, maybe the top one's in charge. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just walk them off an edge and jump out? Uh, oh, totally good. That's how we should ditch this thing. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm not gonna get greedy. Look at that. Look how satisfying that, that, that is. is. That is really cool. Yeah. Also, great photo mode in this game. Can you make the, the Goomba, like, put up the peace sign or something? Uh, no, <laughs> but it's really smart, because, like, I like the idea of these, but in yeah. the PlayStation 1, you always have to go through the weird, like, PlayStation backend and stuff. This one, it just takes away uh, that, and you mm. hit the capture button and save it right to your uh, Switch album. Uh, what filters do they have? Oh, they got, like, a weird SES. Oh, that's gross. Game Boy. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll buy that. Yeah, okay. it's. Uh, I don't remember any S games looking quite like this, but. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> this is like some early Photoshop days. <laughs> yeah. Where's that, the Van Gogh filter? Sharp. That's, that's kind of sharp. Yeah, that's all right. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now it's a video. Beastie Boy video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty neat with just each one being uh, going down singing uh, Intergalactic. Oh yeah, that would be good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you um, unlock those filters, or they're just they're like, all from the beginning? Uh, here, once we get out uh, to the main world again, I'll, I'll get to make a custom deck image for you. How about that? Uh, so you just need two more moons in this kingdom? Yep, and, and then I can go to the next one. Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll follow this through, and then we will power up the ship. And then we'll check out uh, New Dunk City okay. uh, and my save file. So for folks who uh, are watching this, we're going to probably finish up the early stuff and then jump ahead. But uh, <laughs> Hang on, wanna... real quick. I'm going to try this. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they exploded. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, uh, go ahead. So you really like this game. Yeah, it's Any, it's really fantastic. Anything that would you say uh, surprised you when you played it that you can share for folks that have seen most of the trailers and are still like, ah, I don't know. I mean, I would say, yeah, I started saying it earlier about how it's not all about this one gimmick of capturing things. Like, it is a big part of the game. As you can see, I have to do it here to get through areas. But I don't want people to think that this is a Mario game where you play as everything but Mario. Okay. Like, most of your time is spent as Mario. Jumping on Doing things. jumps and stuff that Mario does. You know, he's got all his moves. He's got his triple jump. He's got his little side flip thing. He's got, uh, oh, the back flip's back. The long jump's back. And he's fun stuff with that. Butt stomp jump. Yeah, yeah. It's th This feels like Mario 64 in a lot of ways. Like, these worlds feel a lot like Mario 64 to me, in that they're just big, and they encourage exploration in a huge way. Um, and yeah, they're, I don't want to call them gimmicks in Sunshine and Galaxy, about like the gravity stuff, and the uh, I think the hat is more the gimmick, and the flood are the, the gimmicks. Like, I, 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 I say gimmick not as a bad thing. No, Maybe no. I just watch too much wrestling. Like, uh, but, yeah, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, like, as a... I don't know, it kind of is It's a, a core gimmick. gameplay mechanic. Yeah. But it's not all there is. Like, this is a Mario game still. This is not a, hey, look at me running around. I'm a fireball. I'm a piece of electricity game. So you think it doesn't it doesn't lean on it as much as, say, Sunshine did on Flood? I mean, Sunshine, everything yeah. involves Flood. Except for those ones where they steal your Flood. They Wait, which are some of the better parts. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are totally <laughs> levels in this game that are very much like the Sunshine thing. But where you don't have a hat. Okay, so he just hurt his hand. These bosses are, like, very Zelda-ish. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. The boss fights are awesome in this game. That's that's neat. Oh, there are some. Are there are just... cues for what you can take over or not? Or you just try everything? You just kind of try. There are definitely times where it's like, can I take over that? And you're like, oh, yep. Okay, I'm doing that. Uh, Man, it's a tremendously satisfying game from beginning to end. Uh, music pretty good? The music is great. And uh, I'll, I'll remind me when we're doing my playthrough, I'll show a little thing. Like, there are big spoilers, and then there are tiny little fun spoilers that uh. I'll show. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to show the big spoilers, is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, but yes, the music, uh, there's some really, really cool stuff going on with that. What's, what are under the ice? Uh, those are hearts and stuff, so if I'm uh, dying, like, I, I just got hurt, so now I can lure him, him to smash this, oh, which he needs to smash it with his hand anyway. Oh. Can you not take the hand over now? Uh, no. I have to wait till it's kind of dazed. Okay. I have to sneeze. Okay, please. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, so now the ice broke that. I can get that. We're back to full health. Okay. It's gonna smash that. His hand hurts. I'm his hand. See ya. It says shake to go faster. Is that not a huge deal? No, so that's the thing too. Like, there's a lot of times where if you're, if you're like climbing, if you shake the controller, you'll go a little bit faster. But, you know, a, most, a lot of that stuff is convenient stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... 
I I knew I could do that whenever I wanted to, and I just opted not to. Just never just, felt necessary. It doesn't feel necessary. Um, yeah, if I have two complaints about the game, it's that I wish the motion stuff could be swapped to a button because the control scheme is pretty uh, pretty streamlined here. At you got a jump the pro button. controller. Uh, yeah, but I mean, even with the uh, docked, yeah, it's you've got a jump button, you've got a throw button, mm. you got a stomp button, mm. the trigger, and. Other than that, you've got like the the photo mode D pad thing, but like it's like shoulders aren't doing anything really. Uh, the right bumper or, or the right trigger and the left trigger are your like crouch down, long jump. Uh, like it's really good at giving him a ton of abilities with just a few controls. Okay, uh, a few buttons. So yeah, it's really good about that. But there's tons of unused uh, buttons on yeah. this controller. So like, let me do that little homing. Thing. Or let let you give you the option, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, uh, so, so is this all melted? Okay, yeah. So I melted everything. So now everyone's happy. Dumb question. You please do. Well, you're you're a Mario Marioologist, so maybe that's what I call myself. Know. Yes. Uh, well, like why? Why did that like stone god have the moons? It's a boss fight. He had the moons. <laughs> okay. He's guarding he's, the. He's uh, not like their gods hey, who have like. No, the moons just came and destroyed their. There's no story behind that thing. Like it's just okay. Hey, that's that's where the moons are. That's where well. Bowser went there because yeah. that's the place that housed the binding ring, yeah. and he was guarding the binding ring, so there you and go. And now you've eliminated that obstacle, and Bowser is free to go collect the binding ring. Uh, I think he already got it, and then got out of there. When, and you just need, you were just doing I, I'm just murderous. Yeah. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you're like pretty much Indiana Jones, you enter a temple, and that temple doesn't exist after you're done. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so this is Takatu. He's a fun little bird. Does he also follow you around? Uh, he's in every world. Uh, Wait, is it the same one? It's, I assume it's the same Takatu. Then yes. you should find out how Takatu's getting around. He's flying. He's a bird. Why does he get it from world to world? You need a moon ship. No, I'm not going to different planets. The kingdoms are all on the same planet. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, it's just, what planet are we on? Mario. The Wait. Mar oh, so this is that world where uh, I saw in that commercial that one time where everybody's going, Mario. And it zooms out and it's Mario's face. Mario. Yes. That's the planet Mar we're on, I Okay, believe, yes. planet Mario. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm familiar. Thank you. <laughs> so... Most of the costume things are purely aesthetic, but there are certain times like this where things will be locked off. Uh, so like this one's like, oh, you gotta be, you gotta have your party gear on if you want to uh, come have a fiesta with us. Oh, uh, like just like Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now that oh. I'm wearing this stuff, let's have a party. Okay, I think I saw this. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah. And He's very happy. Yeah. All right. That's uh, that looks good to me. And we will save that. I'm not going to go into my album because I have a lot uh, of pictures that would spoil the shit out of some What do you stuff. do with the album? Can you, like, upload them somewhere? Yeah, you can upload it. I mean, it's a built-in Switch thing. You know, you can... Uh, I really checked it out. You can upload to Twitter. Um, I uh, So for my review, all the screenshots in that were screenshots that I took in the game. And it was really easy to just take out the uh, micro SD card, throw it in my computer, oh, and Oh, that's uh, neat. Okay, I, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh... So wait, this is, I didn't realize this was all one planet. I thought he was actually going to a different world. Uh, this is, yeah, this is set on a single globe. So is, is this the Mushroom Kingdom's world? The Mushroom Kingdom is presumably on this world. Like, um, but also there are, uh, you know, a world has different people uh, that, that, you know, live different lives. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that people Mario's, look different here. Mario is invented. What's that? Like, oh, there's that bird again. Oh, yeah. What is he doing? He's, uh, I think he's hot. Oh, I thought he was waving his fan away. Please leave <laughs> Get me alone. Leave me alone. No alert. autographs. This is my bodyguard. Yes, I, I, <laughs> sorry. I am Mario. Sorry, I gotta get this photo shoot. <laughs> uh, let's let's get off this uh, this kingdom. I got enough things here. So also, ha having played, ra just finished playing Rabbids. Yeah, I'm a little more like into what is the topography and map of the like oh like because the, the the world you run to from the castle. You're right. Like, is there a set thing, or does it just well, change every time? Before I uh, before I take off, and we'll show how we transfer through mm -hmm. this world, I'll, I'll tell you that I think the Rabbids world was a, uh, a vortex time type thing. Uh -huh. That programmer was doing the VR thing, so that all kind of yeah. exists in a world outside reality. You do. Have you seen The Matrix? I have. Yeah, no. Okay. I've never seen it. What happens? Uh, there's like a world that's not real. Okay, simulated. But this is, what we're seeing here is the canonical real Mario <laughs> world. Uh, Free of Rabbids? Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to power this up here, and you will see how we get from place to place. So, I'm kind of like building the sail out. This is also different ship. than, like, the galaxy ship. Uh, well, I yeah. guess, I guess that was like ship, an arc or something. Wasn't that it? like his head? I yeah, think it was like his, it was head. his head. And then, yeah. But, like, Captain Toad had a ship. 
Yeah. I forget what Toads look like. All right, so is this the part where we're going to jump forward? Should we let people know? Uh, I'll just fly to the next area and okay. see what that is, and then we'll go to New Donk. So you uh, see, this is this globe here. Can you spin around here? Uh, As you, like, unlock okay. new things, you can... Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that already, but it uh, looks like we're going to the Lake Kingdom. So yeah, there are a couple parts where it kind of breaks off. So yeah, you can spin around. And uh, you start here at the Cap Kingdom. That's where you meet Cappy. You go into the Cascade Kingdom. Uh -huh, where you meet the Cascades. Uh-huh. Uh, so we will go ahead and run here. Uh, I need to run to Crazy Cap as well, which is the place where you spend those purple coins. I meant to go here. Oh, but I thought they were... I thought we also spend purple coins here, though, right? Right. The purple coins are the ones that are like... I have like 23 purple coins for yeah. here. And so I can buy the cowboy outfit. Or a cool thing is at every area you go to, you oh, can buy stickers to put on the outside of your ship and like fun trophies like and things. Like a trapper keeper. Uh, it's, it's like a passport. It's like stamping yeah. your passport with all the places ah. you've gone. Is he excited every time he goes in the ship? He's filled with awe, yeah. I think, every time. This is a ship. Oh, so here, like, wow. it's totally bare. Fancy. Yeah, he's just drinking tea with his yeah, ghost hat. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So here, they're kind of like. Out of, out of hat cups. Uh, yeah, and look at the, the drawers and the handles on the drawers. So is this is Cappy's ship? Uh, no, I don't think he owns this. No, I don't think he owns this. You know, I'm not going to lie, Dan. Those windows just look like upside down penises. Vinny. I'm, I know. Grow up, Vinny. This can be enjoyed by children, all right? <laughs> I'm just... God's sake. Saying the developer is having a little fun there. Ah, oh, Christ. All right. Anyway, uh, cut that out. Uh-huh. That's... Filthy, but uh, just the you know, I know it's I know what Cappy's into. <laughs> so you can see here, like this is what I'm talking about. Like when you go to a new world, it shows you like clearly that's the big thing I'm supposed oh, to wait. do to advance the story. Yeah, they're back again. Yeah, though. they're they're assholes. <laughs> Are that they just keep up. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know it's a Mario game. I shouldn't get hung up on lore, but please do. Do you have any other lore questions? I'd be happy to answer them. Like millions. What's your biggest burning question? Oh boy. Uh, where? How come Mario just doesn't keep one of those zappers from the Rabbids game? Uh, because that was not a real thing. That didn't really happen. That was in a weird VR world. Uh, ah shit! You're not gonna get this one. Huh? I blew it. Well, probably still okay. Uh, where are the Koopa Kids? Uh, well, the Koopalings, because they're no longer oh, sorry. Where's, all right, where's, children. Where's Bowser Jr.? Uh, I'll say they're not in this game. I don't want people to, like, misconstrue what I said earlier oh. and think that they're in. Hey, you want to be a zipper? I would love to. Okay. I'm a zipper. I've always wanted to. Okay. That's yeah. cool. Uh, but yeah, they are not in this game. Bowser is now hanging out with these rabbits instead of, uh, his former children. So they, when, you're, when you're swimming here, yeah, you got air, air bubbles. Air bubbles. Yeah. Yep. Just uh, like Sonic. Unless you'll find out soon. Unless you take over. Yeah. Once I get to it. Not those weird things. It's kelp. I hate these things. Blah. A blooper. That ain't a blooper. There we go. Oh, wait, hey. Cheap, cheap. Uh oh. Somebody introduced the cheap, cheap into the Lake Kingdom <laughs> ecosystem and they have just taken over, really. You, they, everybody knows you're not supposed to bring any foreign. Yeah, it causes trouble. They have that, mustaches now. That is an adorable cheap, cheap. Isn't it? Yes. That little wiggle. That is, that is very cute. It's really fun just. So you going can't take over the big. Oh, he's got a hat already. That's Dory from uh, 64. Yeah, he's got his own hat. Just Dory holding on to a moon? You don't uh, have to kill Dory to I'm not get killing the moon. Dory, no. Uh, so, and there's little things here, too, where, like, oh, if I get five of these little pieces here, I'll create a moon. But there's just uh, stuff everywhere. Let me go into Crazy Cap here. I don't think I have enough purple coins, unless. Is just... cra Crazy Cap is in each kingdom? Yes. Okay. Uh, with a couple of tiny exceptions, there are a couple, like, really smaller areas that are more for, like, a boss fight or something like that. Oh, wait, look at that. So, you have to shake the controller to attack here? Yeah, but I. Didn't find myself needing to really attack as a chief chief that often. Let me, yeah. let me see. Does Y no Y Y and B go up and down, and then shake does okay. that? Yeah. But it's, yep. So for the most part, you're saying the motion stuff has not felt uh, like a maybe a bummer for you, but not an inconvenience for playing the game. I mean, I'm not going to act like I wouldn't prefer. Oh god, it's dying. <laughs> I, you know, I would prefer... <laughs> a terrible, Dan. Stop yeah. this. Blah, 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 Just put it back outside blah, blah, and get blah, blah, out of it. Oh, <laughs> no, he died. Wow, yeah. he actually... I didn't press anything. He just died. Yeah. Oh, there's your bird friend. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. I, I would prefer if they had an a option. A dedicated button. But 
I won't say it's a thing that, like, throughout the course of the game was really bumming me like out. Like, you didn't get to, like, a challenge that was like, ugh. The only times I really kind of wished it was better about that was, like, when you're trying to catch fast things like birds and rabbits and things like that, I really wish I could throw my hat and then do a quick home uh, without having to shake the controller. I see. Uh, but, you know, that's a, that is a few moons out of almost a thousand, so. Okay. Yeah. I like shaking the controller. It doesn't have to be a specific motion. It's just shake it, right? Uh, yeah, if it's something like the fish thing, it's just shake it. It's it's more finicky with stuff like the trying to go thing, up yeah. and trying to do... Yeah, it's it's finicky. Look at this. It's cat, uh, cat Peach from 3D World. Thanks, Cat Peach. All right, what do you say? Should we go ahead and hop forward? Yeah, let's hop forward. So folks who are watching, uh, listen, you, you, I feel like... To me, this looks like pretty much what they were selling. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, it's, it's good to see some other worlds, uh, but... I think I was already on board for what Nintendo was selling, but let's jump into some other stuff. Yeah, and to be clear, uh, the thing I'm going to jump forward to is not super late game stuff. I'm jumping to New Donk City, which is kind of like halfway through. I I'm going to show up a E3 couple. Too. Yeah, I'm going to show a couple of costumes, but there is like much bigger stuff that I'm not going to show off because I think it's uh, really cool and worth being surprised. Go uh, buy your uh, buy your hat. I don't think box. I have enough. I have three coins, which won't get me shit. But yeah, it's all just kind of like theme to the area What's you're in, that? basically. Uh, so that's a sticker you can put on the oh, Odyssey. Okay. That's a big inflatable door you can have inside your thing. Oh, that's, that's a dome. Neat. Yeah, so like by the end of the game, yeah. the inside of the Odyssey is just filled with cool shit. Yeah. Uh, but cool. yeah, let's. Uh, I'll go ahead and back out here. So <laughs> if you don't want to see, uh, yeah, what I've got. Wait, mm. that's a hat chest too, or that's your wardrobe. This is my wardrobe. Okay, so yeah, I can change. Okay, here. good. All right. All right. So let's go ahead. I need to right. switch users. Okay. And switch over. To my account. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I am Dan. Hi, Dan. Yep. And we'll hop into mine. Yeah, Vinny, this is it, it really is everything I wanted out of a Mario game. It's got all the like the, the platforming finesse and challenge. That's great. And a lot of the harder stuff comes later on. Uh like Good for Nintendo. Yeah, it's incredible. Like a couple of the last moons I got, just literally like last night at like two thirty in the morning, I got my final moon. Uh and that was a Real challenge, I'd say, up there with some of the harder uh, things I've done in Mario. But rarely the kind of bullshit hard that we've seen from, like, some of the sunshine Mario. shines, you know? Uh, it's more just a couple brutal platforming parts. I'll resume here. It should uh, bring me right into New Donk. So, yeah, gonna see some stuff here that, like, even that little uh, load thing, uh, that's, uh, that's a new thing. I, I think I missed it. Yeah. So, as hey, you can see, look at this guy. Oh, look at this cool oh, outfit I got. Look at this guy. That's cool. It's, okay. That's real cool. Yeah. So, you see my ship? I've got it outfitted here a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll peek in my oh, look, ship. Yeah, look at all your stickers. That's yeah. Neat. They, <laughs> they decide where the stickers go. I guess they fit them all. Yeah, probably. yeah, they just put them on. So, let's look at the inside of the ship. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. You've, Starts looking real cool. Yeah. So, I don't want to show too much here. Obviously, okay. you can see a certain amount on the screen here. Yeah. Uh, but, first of all, God damn it! Look at the description of both the cap and the suit. It's like they're purposefully mocking me and my love for Waluigi, just saying, "Oh, we barely use Waluigi. Oh, yeah, he's just silently waiting for a turn in the spotlight." Does it say that about the one with the upside down W or upside down M? Uh, upside down M. Oh, the Wario. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't fit well. It kind of shaves, and you want to wash the outfit before you wear Ew. it. There, there's a bunch of uh, fun little text okay. stuff in here, but I'm gonna say as Waluigi here. It, the thing is, I'm not unlocking abilities, so... I know, it's just cosmetic. Yeah, so everything that you see in the game, all the moons, like, there's no reason, like, oh, I probably can't get that, I'll come back once I get this ability. It's not this, like, Metroid-type thing, right. which, you know, is great for that game, but this is a very different thing. Uh, also, if you're having trouble finding moons, because this is a big list of things, yes. uh, so the parrot will give you the name of the thing, and if you pay that toad 50 coins, <laughs> yeah. he will put a stamp on the map for where it is. And I just want to show you something here. I'm going to scroll real fast through this. Uh -huh. Look at the top right. You see the top uh, number is always going to be the purple coins. The bottom yeah. one's always going to be the moons. This is a lot of stuff That's dense. to collect. I mean, some of these worlds here, like this one is 71. It's not even the biggest one. Yeah. I mean, each one of these is an objective, and the objectives are super varied. What's the square next to it? What was that? Uh, okay, well, that's that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, but not again, not tied to an ability you need. No, that's more of a like you reach a certain point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like what's, so what's the mark? What's the you have a waypoint? Uh, well now, so at this point I've gotten everything. So now I'm just kind of running around, so I can like re get them. Well, what's what's it showing you on your compass? Uh, that's just north. Oh no, that's which way the camera's looking, and the red is which way I'm looking. You see? 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So gotcha. some of the objectives are yeah. just things like this, where I'm just, hey, I'll I'll try to jump rope. Yeah. Come on, start it. Well, I'll think do it this I think time. I think you're on the rope. Uh, fine. You gotta jump in. Give it. Uh. Go back there. All right. Let him start it up. Do you have to talk to her? Just bounce on her. What head. the hell? Obviously, bounce I'll on bounce her. on her head. Yeah. There she goes. <laughs> You'll get. That's a very yeah. That's what Waluigi would do. <laughs> yeah, that is. What? That's a terrible angle. There we go. What am I doing? What are you trying to get? There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> that's what I would do. Oh, that's that's like Dan. I feel like you've captured <laughs> something there. <laughs> well, now I just want to try. Come yeah. on. Okay. Now I should be good. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, I got it. Jump, oh, jump man. I never know when it's gonna start. Uh, there is a shine for doing this a hundred times. A hundred? Yeah. Oh, it's like that Final Fantasy lightning thing. Are we going? Okay. Oh, you got a hundred and two. Did you give up after, or did you just like... Uh, I just kept going. I, uh... Does it get faster? I did a volleyball thing where you have to hit a volleyball a hundred times. Oh, I did it 150. Cool. That was difficult. I'm currently fourth in the world at the volleyball game, so oh, nice. I'm sure it'll stay that way. Anybody you know at number one, two, or three? Uh, no, I think it's, uh, Treehouse people. Okay. As Boy. far as I know, I've been talking to some journalists and stuff. I may be the first civilian to get all the moons in this game. <laughs> Pretty happy about it. Uh, yay, That's fast. Yay, yay, yay. Oh yeah, this seems like it could be trouble. Yeah. Uh, are you finding it? so he won't do a double jump if you jump when you? Like I'm just doing little to tiny move, taps. You have to move to do the double jump, right? Uh, the triple yeah. jump? Yeah. Uh, oh, so they're not going faster. This is it. I, I think it just stays consistent, but... Well, hell, if we're going to set a record, let's set a record. She had a moon the whole time. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm losing it. Okay, there we go. Look at these. They give you nice. coins if you've already gotten them. There's just a bunch of weird stuff that you can uh, hey, they capture love Mario. Here. I'm an M. Okay. So, you get it. It's called Mario. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I like bouncing off of Can uh, you these. not be a, a cab? Uh, I can be a cab, but only this one, and it takes me to a specific place. Oh, I see. Does it get a mustache, though? Uh, it does get a mustache, okay. yeah. And all this stuff is named after Donkey Kong Country stuff. Cranky Kong, Espresso, the Wait, uh, Espresso's? ostrich. Oh, okay. I think Espresso is the ostrich. Rambi is the rhino. Radley's the snake. Oh, because it's new Donkey City. Yes, and here's Pauline from yes. Donkey Kong. And she does her often uh, touted musical number, right? Uh, Boy, actually, yeah. I do want to end uh, this quick look with that, because that is one of the cooler things in this game. Yeah, I, really I feel like they have really hammered that one home. Uh, no, I'm talking about the gameplay part of it. Like, the, oh, okay. Yeah, because I mean, that song is playing and she's wait, performing. Wait, what's going on over there? It's my dog. No, not your dog, which is very cool, by the way. This this mechanical. Oh, that nightmare. was the boss that I killed earlier. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wait, do you get a moon for just stomping on him again? It's corpse, yeah, yeah. Boy, Mario's vicious, huh? Yeah. I'll show you uh, one of my favorite little uh, sh uh, moons here. Oh, let me show you a couple here. And I guess I gave spoiler tags here, so I just want to give you a sense of how many cool little things are in this game. I think by this point, you know, people are still watching. Yeah. What are they waiting online They're for? On board. Uh, that's what I'm going to go to next, phones? but okay. first I want to get this. Oh, is that uh, Pauline's number? Look at this guy. Oh, he's already... Okay, he was very lonely and sad yeah. earlier. Maybe I can't do it again. Oh, okay, here we go. He just wanted a friend. Nobody was talking to him. Aww. And so I sat down next to him and he said thanks, and he gave me a moon. Look at that little alley. Yeah. Can't go in there. Nah, can't, can't like, fit there. Become like a... A little piece of cheese or something. Hey, look, yeah. those guys are visiting New Dawn City, too. Oh, they're the uh, slot machine guys. Yeah, you'll see people from other worlds uh, pop up. And these things show up. So these are where you lose your hat. If you put your hat on this thing, yeah. it'll give you a little oh, challenge. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then these are the kind of the more like traditional little platform yeah. things here. And so you can't use stuff like the hat throw or jump off your hat or anything. Gotcha. So you just got his core abilities here. Some of these are much harder than others. All right. Nope. Didn't get that one time. Uh, and so mobility and stuff, you can go to these like cones, pulling yourself. Right. That's cool. Oh, so sorry, real quick, the the uh, line here. Yeah. Oh look, the theater's playing one of the all-time greats. Okay, oh, okay. Let's go see what this is. Is New Donk City? Do you, oh. Hey. Wait, you took over? Mm-hmm. Now I'm just Wait, playing Mario. Uh, do you keep her costume? Yeah. So no matter what costume? Yeah. It it animates it. 
It's like a Mario Maker type thing where they have like 8-bit versions of all this. And even like little touches like, hey, here's where that one up is. Oh, they put something there. What'd they put there? But it's just like a shield that gives me extra life. Oh, I thought, but, I thought coins were life. Uh, no. Coins, oh, uh, uh, the standard coins will let you buy... Am you I can buy of Sunshine? I must have figured out Sunshine. <laughs> Uh, coins will give you life in Sunshine and 64, uh, but here, so instead of lives, when you die, yeah. you just lose 10 coins. Oh, okay, maybe that's what I was thinking. So there is not a okay. finite amount so of- So you have uh, 6,000, you're good. Uh, it's, yeah, I've got, yeah, I could die 600 Is it hard? Fine. The game? I, well, like, dying-wise, I feel like Mario games have kind of gotten away from that. I've never been close to, uh, like, running out of coins or anything like okay. that. Like when you fall off into a pit, you lose some coins? Does that count as a death? If I fall off a pit, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what, what's this? This is just the end here. No, that's not Mario. I know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yep. It's a good game. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, can you, you can't take over any of those people. No. Uh, let me show you a fun thing you can do here. So uh, this is another post-game thing. So, oh, by the way, yeah, all the souvenirs you can look at them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you unlock this. Okay. Which is great. So if I don't want to listen to this, oh, it plays over the. Playing. Yeah, so, uh, like, one of my favorites to explore, too, is... It's Cafe. Where is it? Oh, there's some really good songs in here. I'm trying not to look at it too much. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh. Tell, tell me if you recognize this. <clears throat> oh. ah. No. No? That ring of any bell is just like... I can't tell if you're joking or not. Okay. Yeah, nothing. You know it. It's great. This is just a laid back nice. thing to yeah. explore too. There's a lot of cool like remixes. Oh, look at all, all the rest of New Donk City over there. What's yeah. happening outside of there? Business life. Wait, with the, <laughs> what is going on with the <laughs> taxi cams? That's amazing. That's my favorite thing I've seen so far. They're just floating taxis. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, it's really cool. That's great. Oh, so I'm this guy. Still, I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> I cheered him up because he was sad and yeah. he likes clowns. And so I might have dressed up like a clown. Just go jump on his head. <clears throat> no. Okay. I made his day better. Wait, there's a Captain Toad over there. It sure is. Remember that music? What, the Captain Toad music? Yes. You'll yeah, recognize it. Oh, I can't talk to him since I've done the stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wait. If I do want to hear the Captain Toad music, let's. Where is it? Here we go. There we go. Oh, sure. <clears throat> now you recognize it? I do. I need a cafe version of this. <laughs> All right, I will go ahead and end this by going to uh, the thing I want to end with. Uh, actually, let's go to the very top of the tower first, and then I'll show the, the climax of this quick look. Every time, even since E3, when they showed this stuff, it just made me think of... Um, Infamous 2? Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> Take that football. Uh, oh yeah, That'd be fun. Okay. I can't make it in the pool, field can I? Uh, yeah. Damn it. Uh, well, someone's oh. dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like throwing pennies off the Empire State Building. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly supposed to be the Empire State Building. The Chrysler Building's over there. Like this is clearly just New York with flying taxi cabs. Mm. All right, so let's uh, oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> can you, can you, yes. You can't get a you can't get a sale for this thing. Uh, I don't think so. Can you take that thing over? Uh, no, no, I can't. Uh, oh, that thing's gone. Let me see if this is where Wait, the fan is. Can you, you can't bring your, uh, you can't bring your moped in here. Uh, I don't think so. So, wow, look at this party happening. Yeah. Wait, is that a yarn, yarny? Uh, yarny? No, no that's... The yarn, I think from a yarn. Oh, Yoshi? he's from, uh, the Shiveria, Shiveria uh, okay, Kingdom or sorry. something. The snow Can you bounce on everybody's head? Oh, yeah. I can crowd surf. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at this party. Everybody's here. Wait, is that another <laughs> cappy? Uh, oh, yeah. There are other hats. There are. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. photo mode is very uh, fun. Also, his face. listen to uh, the trumpet. Wait. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, uh, you're the biggest Mario nightmare. <laughs> this is so can great. you do that on everybody? Like the drums and stuff? Uh, yeah. Well, let's see if I can do it in one hop. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's just like that Mario. What was it, the music maker they showed at uh, E3 that time? Oh, Wii Music? Yeah, Wii Music. Oh, no. Mario had nothing to do with that crap. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Okay, so, when you, you get this guitar. whole band together, you have to go around and get the band together. Do you want the bass or the electric? Both. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. that's the bass. Yeah. How about the speakers? 
Uh, I don't think I've tried that. Nope. No. So <laughs> break this whole setup. <laughs> once you get the band together for okay. Pauline, yes. you can do the festival. Which I'm gonna do it again here. Again, if you if you don't want to see this, because this was a thing I was just smiling through okay. the entire time. Yeah, leave now. Oh wait. Have you not uh, seen? I have not seen the Ava version. Man, I'll do that on my own time. I'll do the normal version here. All right. So if you folks don't want to see this, I guess you'll leave a little something for the folks. At yeah, home yeah. The version. Okay. This this is uh this really made me smile. Like I'm I'm curious because uh I feel like I've seen a lot. Of, if this is that Pauline number, it is. Seen. But you haven't seen the gameplay. You yet. haven't seen nothing yet. It's there is very meaningful fan service in this game, and as someone who grew up on Mario games and has loved them my entire life, there is some really, really fantastic stuff that really okay. made me smile in this game. So wait, it's New Donk City, but she's the mayor. Yeah. Then, then what's Donkey Kong? So this is a festival that is uh, celebrating the origins of the city. Donkey Kong founded the city. Uh, Donkey Kong kidnapped her, and then Mario kidnapped or saved Pauline. Pauline got her life together, had a, had a rough few years. And then uh, ran for office, as you can see. There we go. Can so, you get moons during the festival? Yeah. Okay. There are a couple. It's not a lot. Yeah, so festival tells the stories of our city's beginnings. So basically like the Pauline uh, origin story Jump, before yeah, she Jump man, Jump ran for man. office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's basically saying we're celebrating Mario's origins, too. Yeah. <laughs> right. Way to steal the show, Mario. Yeah. <laughs> The song loop? Uh, I think I usually beat it before the song ends. Okay. Uh, I, I, I do say, not believe there were coin blocks in Donkey Kong. No. Celebration of all things Mario and Donkey. Uh, I will say there's another song with vocals in it, and I said it in the review, but it is the closest a Mario game has ever come to like a post Dreamcast Sonic game, <laughs> as far as when you think of music and the Sonic games, uh, and that sounds really bad. But I think I unironically really like the song now okay. and the sequence. It's real goofy, but I like it a lot. Just flipping the switch. I think this is so cool. This is just, it's a joyous game. Like, it is just so fun and happy through and through. Uh, Can only Mario do this? What do you mean? <laughs> like, oh, the festival? A, become a 2D. Uh, I, I see what's coming up over here. I mean, here. Bullets like, also did that. Is she uh, saying Odyssey? Yes, C. I think I think that's what she's going. That for. doesn't make sense though. That's bothering me. Odyssey, yes, E. I mean, like yesy. Yesy? Yeah. What the hell does yesy mean? It's poetic license. Okay. Look at th th this. is cool. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. What's happening? Yeah. I'm a Waluigi 2D Mario playing through a new 3D Mario game on a 2D so, plane, beating Donkey Kong. So that's not really Donkey Kong. Uh, I think this is a like animatronic like a, Donkey Kong. Yeah, or like okay. a, this is like a theater piece. Okay, like a historical piece. Could you die in here? <laughs> yeah, I <think> could. <laughs> That's not how you beat Donkey Kong. <laughs> Artistic license, Vinny. That's how you beat a Hammer Brother. <laughs> That's true. Let's crowd Come surf. Back. Fuck That's, yeah. how, that's how everybody had to get here, right? Uh, yeah. Fuck yes. Can you bounce on her head? I probably. <laughs> You got a picture of that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, so sometimes they fix the camera. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, that's very Waluigi. Yeah, it is. That's Even his good. face right there is just terrible. Yeah, let's uh, make sure we capture that. Look at the the basis. Looks like he's just like, like, what? <laughs> let's get, get security. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'll end with this. Uh, Vinny, this is just a fantastic seems game. Seems like a lot of fun. So what do you do when you talk to her to end it in the end? Yeah. Uh, I did. Memory girder. Mm. Uh, Let's I, just stay. I also said this in the review, but I think it's important. Um, so Zelda came out this year, too. Mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild. And um, whereas that game was kind of re... Oh, if you stand still when there's music playing like this, yeah. you dance. That game was more of a kind of like reinvention of Zelda. Like it changed everything about the formula and, and really... That's where the surprise came from with Zelda, was it, it felt completely new and different. This is very much a 3D Mario game. It's a much bigger and better 3D Mario game than I think I've ever played. Uh -huh. uh, not saying that officially yet. Uh, but it's still the same basic concept. It's the same types of challenges. There's way more of them. There's way more right. of a variety. There's way more fun little bonuses to get. But 
where Zelda kind of took things in a totally new direction. This does a bunch of new fun things too, but this is still, you know, two of those like Mario 64 roots. Sure. Uh, and it really, really kills it. Um, this game made me very, very happy for a long time. Cool. And I can see myself coming back to it and playing more. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Wow. All mm -hmm. right. So review going up soon. It should be. If you're watching this, it should uh, be up yeah. now. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, very cool. Thanks, Dan. I can't wait to get playing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. To Odyssey. Yep. Thanks, Vinny. Uh, thank you.